guys, this is Amy Lee and welcome to a brand new episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love. And I know right, hasn't it been forever? Oh, I sure do miss this place whenever I've been away. But you know what, whenever I'm back in this world, it always feels like I'm back home. I just love it here so very much. Now let's start the episode as we always do and say a very big good morning to everyone's favourite Iron golems hey Bert hey Bertha where are you guys oh there you are hi Bert you were right behind me how are you doing buddy and you know what I think I think he is on the hunt for the block of the day oh Bert let's find you a nice block oh this one Bert this one is pretty oh it's just such a wonderful block hey Bert Bert, check this one out. Where did he go? Hey, Bert. Oh, I see. You have found a block yourself. Yes, Bert. This block is very nice. Now, I wonder where Bertha is today. Hey, Bertha. Oh, there you are, big Bertha. Hi. Oh, Bertha, your eyeballs remind me of strawberries. They're so pretty full. I sure do love you, big Bertha. Alrighty then, you guys. You have a wonderful day. I'm going to go ahead and see those kitty cats and, of course, see those doggies. Good morning, my little felines. How are you feeling? You guys are bored and want some toys to play with? Hmm, I'm not sure if I have many cat toys available. Oh, I do know I can get you guys some string. Would you like some string? I take that as a very big yes, but wait a minute. Oddball, what are you doing on Nemo's tank? You do know that Nemo is not dinner, right? No, he is definitely not lunch either. Oh, poor little Nemo. I love you, little fishy. No eating Nemo, okay, Oddball? And I'll be back pretty soon, you guys, with some string. Let me just go ahead and see those doggos. Good morning, doggos. How are you guys doing? Ah, uh, aren't you all just like the cutest dogs ever? Hi, Luna. How are you, my little cutie patootie? Here you go. Have some steak. And over here, we have little Destiny. Have some num nums, Destiny. Who's a good little Destiny? We have little Sailor over here. Hi, Sailor. We also have Mars. And just over here, we have Storm. We also have Lola. Hi, Lola. And then we have Boomer over here and we also have Romeo but wait a minute I'm sure I'm missing a couple of dogs but who am I missing hmm wait a minute it's Lexi and Max you guys where's Lexi and Max at <laughs> They're watching TV? Huh, okay, well, whatever makes them happy. Now, let's say a quick good morning to those snow golems. Good morning, mittens and friends. How are you guys doing today? No, mittens, no, no, you can't escape. Not today. No, I've got lots of work to do today, mittens. I have to make something amazing. Today, I really want to work on the fun fair area. Do you remember a few episodes ago, we made like a hooker duck thingamajiggy? Well, I kind of want to expand on that and make a few more carnival games i think that will be wicked cool but first before we go ahead and do that let me just go ahead and check on those doggies well hello there lexi and max what are you guys doing <coughs> ah you're watching cartoons can i join you <coughs> perfect now let's see what's on <coughs> Oh, cool, you guys. It's my Pixelarity episode. Are you okay, Mars? You can breathe? Come here, big fluff ball. What? Huh? Oh, no. My tiara. Where is it? Oh, wait a minute. What's this? From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Because the critical thing we must do to stop the disease spreading between households, that is why people will only be allowed to leave their home for the following very limited purposes. Shopping for basic necessities as infrequently as possible. One form of exercise a day for example, a run, walk or cycle, alone or with members of your household, any medical need to provide care or to help a vulnerable person, 
and travelling to and from work, but only where this is absolutely necessary and cannot be done from home. That's all. These are the only reasons you should leave your home. Oh no, that sure does sound super scary. We are going to need to be uber careful now. <coughs> You're right, you guys. I should make some hand sanitizer and antibacterial spray. And I know just the place that we can do that. We've got to get to my secret lab. But before we do that, oh, I'm sorry, Bert, after you, my darling. i got to get some string for those kitties to play with. Oh, I bet it's right here in the chest that's labelled mod drops. Um, string. Oh, there it is! String! They sure will dig this. Now I'm wondering if it's wise to make some face masks. I mean, we've got to protect other people, not just ourselves. I mean, it can't be a bad idea. That way we'll not only protect ourselves, but other people. So let's go ahead and grab some wool. I'm sure I can make a face mask with these ingredients. Here you go, kitty cats. Now you guys can play with lots of string. <coughs> You're welcome, you guys. Now let's get to that laboratory. And we can access the lab by going through the basement. And usually I wouldn't really tell many people, but I trust you guys because you're all super cute recruits. So the entrance to our secret lab is through this door labeled nowhere. Just make sure you don't tell anyone. But before we go through there, I want to check the monster room because we haven't been down here in forever. But I don't think there's any monsters. Hello? Ah! <laughs> no, there is a creeper. Did you guys see that? I can just about see him through there. He's like a bogey in the abyss. Mr. Creeper. Ah, no, there's a zombie. And there's another creeper. I don't know if you can see that, but there is another booger in the back there. But anyway, we don't have time. We've got to get some antibacterial stuff. Alrighty then. So to know where we go. We made it. And do you guys remember where this waterfall comes from? That's right, we are just below the wishing well. But anyway, let's get our little butts into the lab and we're gonna see if we can figure out how to make some disinfectant and some hand spray. But first things first, let's look at making a mask. Now we have some string and wool. I'm wondering if we put a piece of string here and a piece of string here and then some wool in the middle, that should make a mask. Uh, yeah, I think I got it. I just got to stitch up this little bit. And I did it. I made a mask. That is so awesome. Now let's go ahead and pop this baby on. And look at that. How cool is that? Now we won't pick up any jermies or spread any of our own jermies. I think it'll be a good idea to wear this from now on. Alrighty then. So now we need to make some hand sanitizer. And I'm thinking we will probably need a bottle of water. We need some pink dye so it's nice and cute and pink. I think the blaze powder because that will kill all of the germies. And then some redstone to get it all working. Now we can go on over to my fabulous machine over here. And we can pop all of these ingredients in this hopper. Now all we're going to do is do some configuration. And then that will hopefully mix all of the ingredients together to make some hand sanitizer. Oh, I can definitely hear it working. Now what should be happening is the items in the hopper should be mixing together to make a formula. And that formula will be transmitted by these pipes into the machine over there. Mission complete. And it sounds like it's finished. Let's see if it's worked. Oh, and it's definitely made something. Oh, it has, look, hand sanitizer. That is so awesome. But what isn't awesome is being trapped in this machine. Oh, what if it turns me into a bottle of hand sanitizer? Don't be silly, Amy. That is wicked cool though, isn't it? Look at that. We have five bottles of hand sanitizer. Now I've got that. Let's make some anti bacterial spray and I'm pretty sure that is a similar recipe but instead of using redstone we need to use glowstone so now let's go ahead and do the same thing and drop the items in the hopper here and then now let's get that configuration sorted and it's working again mission complete wow that one sure was super fast now let's check that that's worked too and it sure has made something and it did it it made disinfectant spray 
We are now going to be so super protected, you guys. Now, one thing I really want to do is protect Grandfather Oak. Since he does live outside, we're going to have to do something. I'm thinking maybe I can make some kind of face mask. Now, let's go up the wishing well. And we made it. Now, this lockdown means we can only go outside for basic necessities. And helping someone vulnerable and in need is definitely a necessity. Plus, Grandfather Oak sure is old. He will definitely need some extra support. Hey, Grandfather Oak, hi, how are you doing, Grandfather? Oh, I sure have missed you. Now, I've got a little face mask for you, Grandfather. There we go, that should keep you protected. And I have more than enough items, I can definitely share some. Here's some hand sanitizer, Grandfather. Now you're going to be super protected. Now, another thing I'm going to do for this lockdown is make sure I have enough food. Now, there's no need to be greedy, I only need enough for me and my animals. So it's gonna be a good idea to leave some for anyone else that needs it. Now let's take a few potatoes and then once I've got that I'll take a few carrots and then a little bit of wheat so we can make some bread and then I'll also grab some watermelon and then I think that's all I need. And look at how much is left for everyone else. You can't be greedy in times of crisis you guys, you gotta share it all out. Now during a lockdown you have to stay away from from other people, which means you won't be able to spend time with your friends. But luckily, we have Skype and Discord to keep in contact. Now, you are allowed out as long as you don't get too close to any other people and that you're only with members of your own family. You can do a little bit of exercise like a bike ride or take your dog for a walk, but team sports like football is definitely not okay. Now, the best thing you guys can do during this lockdown is to stay safe and inside. Keep busy with lots of things that you've wanted to do for so long. Things like rearranging your bedroom, learning a new skill, and reading that favorite book of yours. Coronavirus is no joke, you guys, so keep on washing your hands and keep on disinfecting. And together we can make this go away sooner. Now that is all the time I have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it muchly. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, check out www.amony33.co.uk for some wicked cool official A-mini merchandise. Don't forget to stay safe and keep everyone else safe. I love you guys. Goodbye.